good morning from the streets of kashi day three it's gonna be a 130 kilometers odd journey from here shouldn't take more than two 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 and a half hours so this is the bike we've rented for today it costed a bit more but should be a good for an adventurer so let's keep going let's see what's in the house for today okmar where are we going prayagraj prayagraj yes prayagraj it is so about 11 change we've already reached the place it's approximately 30 kilometers from here but what a good ride the highways are good it's not really a bad weather it's just that the rental helmet that we took was shit so we did not put anything i know it's kind of a bit dangerous out there there's no other go we've tied around some masks and uh, head guards average out at 100 km per hour pace the winds are quite strong i think uh, a lot of gushy wind is trying to blow away my shirt is not staying still stopped here for a quick uh, water break and also this is a rented bike it has its issues it's kind of vibrating a lot and not want to trouble it thought we'll give it a break and now i think we are done we'll be back riding so we just reached the sangam where three rivers meet i can see the color difference and the gradients there already i don't think it's noticeable here but there is a bit of color hue difference in the greens of it so we took another boat to see the formation there all the departed souls from this planet are given a special place up there when you offer pinda pradhan it's a process or ritual that uh, some of the hindus perform But usually the departed souls they need energy and life up there i know this sounds bizarre many of you guys don't believe it but this is how it is so for them to be in a good uh, idea and for them to be in a good shape we usually do this ritual called pinda pradhan where we give them more energy to do more and be good somewhere else apart from earth so we are going towards the uh, meet up or the formation of the three rivers where we will be taking a holiday and uh, we'll be going back we are at the sangam point so i think this is where uh, you got to take the dip and this is the formation of all the three rivers the flow is quite intense on the other side but uh, on this side it is not really much if you can notice the difference that side it's light green and this side it is dark green so definitely it makes a bit of difference but you need to observe it so Behind me is the Triveni Sangam right there. We've passed it, but the swift flow of this river is quite in contrast to that. That is quite fast. Saraswati, the boater did not really have us a closer view, but still, it's fine. I think it is manageable to 
get a deeper view of it and uh, take bath in this holy river. We are moving back towards the deck and uh, we'll be continuing with the rest of the procedure as it followed. Bhaiya ji na bahut help kiya humko. Shukriya bhaiya. Bilkul. Sham sham ko milega. Bilkul. Emperor Ashoka ordered for this fort later which was occupied by Akbar and now it is occupied by military heard from a local guy here so this is one more addition for our view Prayagraj is decent I wouldn't downscale it but for a one day visit this is decent and uh, there are not much to see I believe but if you have the patience and want to go around the city I think you can come here for a day so look at me this is how I have become after the little drift ride that we did and uh, <laughs> it's all turned grey but the views are magnificent the place is amazing so I think it's good to get some dust into your body because that is where you'll rest for your rest of time today it's an amazing day 3 in Prayagraj it's 6.30 pm in the evening and uh, we just had a very nice evening what do you call this Laukumar? dinner, breakfast because we didn't have breakfast we didn't have lunch so we just have been travelling since morning and Pet uh, Abhi Ho Gya it's done so finally we had some good meal and uh, i'm just finishing it with bundi raita now it's way back home to varanasi 6 30 pm currently and uh, it should take about two and a half hours journey it's gonna be a night ride a little cautious though but we should be able to make it i know i look dirty but please bear with me for this vlog because we've been dancing around in the dust for quite a while and uh, yeah we'll see you in in some time then Shabu in Varanasi